Welcome to IET Labs video demonstrating how to perform volume and surface resistivity using the new 1888 megometer slash high resistance meter in combination with the 1888-11 resistivity cell. The first material I'm going to try is just a piece of cardboard, just as sort of a sample. Sample goes into the cell. Cell is closed. Go over to the 1888. Press start. It will take a second to auto range, but you can see that it's applying 500 volts. Um, the ranges keep changing. Begins to perform a measurement. Um, in this particular case, normally the measurement would be for 60 seconds, but to reduce the test time, I'm only doing a measurement for about 15 seconds. But you can see that the um, Volume resistivity is shown directly in the correct units, so ohm centimeters. Um, and that is it. We have a basic measurement of volume resistivity. If we wanted to then change over and measure surface resistivity, it is as easy as rotating the switch to surface resistivity on the cell, going over to the 1888, pressing the menu button, going down to I.O. settings, Pressing enter, selecting surface resistivity, and pressing start. At that point, the unit will begin performing a measurement. Again, voltage is 500 volts. It auto ranges, and there we have it. Measurements performed for our surface resistivity, shown directly in the correct units. That is as easy as it is. Um, the next section of this video will show a little bit more about how it's all connected together as a tutorial when you receive the unit. When you receive the 1888, there's an interlock connector which has to go into the back of the 1888. Please make sure that interlock connector goes right here in the back, um, is inserted um, prior to turning the unit on. Um, the cell itself comes with basically adapters or connectors. One goes to a triaxial connector, just like that. That plugs into the detector. The other one is a BNC or an adapter that goes to a BNC. That plugs directly into the high voltage output. That's it for connections. No other connections than that. Um, the side of the 1865-11 has two settings, one for volume, one for surface. In this case, I'm going to set it for volume. From the menu on the 1888, you press menu. This goes to the regular menu. Press enter. You can change voltage, go up or down, change test time, which would normally be something like 60 seconds. So all we have to do is say enter, 60, enter. You can either use soft keys here or the numeric keypad, whichever you prefer. In the I.O. settings, we press enter and enter on display type. And we can select either normal, which would be standard resistance. We can also select surface resistivity or volume resistivity. In this case, we'll select volume resistivity. We can also select cell constants. Please note, on the 1888-11, there's a label right inside. It says what the cell constants are for volume resistivity and surface resistivity. So the top one, 18.8, .8, is for surface resistivity. It says so right there. The 19.6 is for volume resistivity. It says so right there. If we look at what's entered in, we can see that those are already pre-configured for you. The only thing you have to do is determine the thickness of your material and then go down press enter and enter the thickness of your material in centimeters once you've done that next step would basically be going back into menu going down to utilities and performing a zero in this particular demo i'm not going to perform a zero but you could easily press zero 
Make sure that the cell is open. No material in the cell. Do not close the cell during the zero. And then perform the zero. Once the zero is complete, put your material back in, um, which in this case, I'll actually put in a small sheet of polycarbonate. Once you have the polycarbonate in, close the cell. And at that point, you can start the measurement. And again, shows you volume resistivity, shows you the voltage, shows you the auto range or, or ranging. And then it automatically shows you the volume resistivity in ohms per centimeter. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you.